Hi, everyone. Vikas. Hi. <laughs> After Mr. Naftiya Sarna spoke, it was like poetry. And then Ian spoke, and then I come. Either I get the speech or I get the glasses. Today I got the speech, I forgot the glasses. But I'm really thankful to be here. India House is really something very inspirational. It's a true value, the true value of India. It's, you know, even our children will never understand what it means to be immigrant. When you leave everything you know, everything familiar, everything which is yours, everything you've ever understood, everything you ever touched and embraced, you leave everything, you cross the shores, you come to a new land, you're nothing less than alien. We all have our own story, but it's always very similar. You come as a no person here. You have so much faith in this country that you give everything to it. You get bullied, you get made fun of, everything. Everything which breaks you is in those moments. But then there's also people like Ian who built up that for you. He didn't save a life, he saved hope. He saved he faith <laughs> for those immigrants, for those immigrants like us who come here from nowhere with just one dream, we're going to make this place, contribute to it, make it better for ourselves and for this country. It's, again, my English is not that big bucket, like, so it's going to come to an end very soon. <laughs> I come from a profession where people don't appreciate, like, you know, when we started it, it's very funny. I used to work as a, I used to sit a cat. You know what does that mean? I met this woman, I used to give flyers on Central Park, I met this woman and she said that, you look so honest because you're always giving flyers, you don't throw them in the dustbin and go away. So can you sit a cat for me? I said, what does that mean? He said, you can come to my house and you speak to my cat for one hour. I said, this is the problem in America? Like, so I go to her house and it's a big cat. I say, oh, she's so fatty. She's, he's saying, don't say like that, she'll get upset. Because she understands English. She's saying, not your English, but she understands English. <laughs> Going to people's houses, cooking for them, dishwashing, cleaning streets. I, didn't know, I don't know how to drive, but I did valet parking. I'm sorry if somebody hears me. <laughs> We do everything for one thing, to survive, to adapt, to think that we are not going to give up. One day, we are not going to give up. A few months ago, I, I was about to lose my left hand, and I was in the operation theater. I wrote a poem on resilience of a small seed, that how it has to be buried to grow into a tree. All the immigrants get buried, all of us, without exception. I'm an exceptional story because it's, so I'm sitting in the train, on seven train, and I'm sitting next to a Sikh guy, and he says, what do you do? I said, I make food. He's saying, oh, one day, don't worry, you'll get a job. I said, no, that's my job. <laughs> He's saying, why don't you drive a cab? I said, I don't know how to drive. He's saying, oh, that's why you cook. <laughs> but eventually, I found a space for myself, and you had people, who appreciated and acknowledged what you do. Same thing happened with me when I went back to India. It's a very rare story. When you become, you start living the American dream, you don't get a chance to go mainstream in India. I got that chance. I bow to it, I'm thankful to it, I have a lot of gratitude towards it. And I go back to India, and I was very scared because you know I had built up the place here and everything, go back to India, and I don't speak Hindi. Like, I don't speak English, I only speak, I'm the only Punjabi speaking guy. It's terrible. Like, uh, I speak Spanish and they changed my language to Spanish. He's saying, it's Punjabi, Spanish, so Spanish. English, they call my English Pinglish. Hindi, they call Pindi. So they say everything as your. So I went back home and I didn't find the purpose. And I was very scared because I'd never done TV before. But I felt that this is a call of something higher, 
I must find the purpose. And that was Smile Foundation. I entered the screen in 2011 on Diwali in India. First time people saw me. People had no idea. I had no idea what television means. And then I met the people from Smile Foundation. Every day has been a blessing because the guilt you have living as an NRI because you leave a part of you behind, it fulfills that for me. I feel complete when I'm working with those kids. And last time I was at the center, you'll be amazed. We have more than 25,000 kids I have, and I'm very proud of it. And I'm, and I'm still single. I have 25,000 kids. I'm even prouder of that. <laughs> So this time when I went to the center, every time you go to them and everybody wants to be a cricketer or they want to be all Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khans, this time every child wanted to be a chef. So really, really thank you to all of you. Jatin, you are a rock star. Thank you, everyone.